We're starving, we're tired. We've got a broken suitcase. But you know what's not broken, our spirit. what snack packing for seven kids getting ready to go on vacation looks like. We can't shove anything else in there, babe. Like a glove, it fit. Nobody can open the back except for me. You guys. Okay, who's ready to go to the dentist? <laughs> Me! Who's ready for Florida? Me! The difference in weather that we're going to experience today is going to do a lot for our skin. Not in a good way either. Look at all this fog. It's freezing cold. Jinx it. Okay, everybody's gonna need a mask. It's the law. Oh, I don't have a law. I have one for you. They made it a law. It is. They tell you all throughout. There you go. We've got some cranky ones, some not so cranky ones. Mommy, they smell good. Good. Tyson, Kaden, Landon, Tommy, or Big Kaden. I put a mask on your seat because you might need it in the shuttle. It's game time. What we're gonna do, since there's 10 of us, four or five luggages, and we each have stuff. Chris is dropping us off, and then um, he's going to go park the the bus for us, and then take the shuttle back here. It just makes more sense to drop us all off, that way we can start checking bags and stuff, while he goes and does all the car business and just has to shuttle by himself, as opposed to taking 100 kids and 100 pieces of luggage. Ooh, it's chilly here. <laughs> we had to struggle with weather because it's freezing cold in San Francisco, but it's hot in Florida, and I don't want to bring jackets or anything, but I'm just gonna have to bring one, I think. Okay, I'm not going to be cold. Helpful. Look at this. I don't even have to push anything. Jeez, this is the benefits of having a lot of kids. Oh, the TSA line looks like a Disneyland line. This is gonna be fun. Do we have to wait in that line? Yes, we have to wait in that line. Yeah. It's a party in the TSA. <laughs> She's turning Miley Cyrus' song into it's party in the TSA. <laughs> this is why we get here early, kids. Yeah. Gotta love travel opening back up. That line is crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fancy seeing you here. <laughs> Follow me, fam. We did it. 
it. We made it through TSA. Our flight leaves at... No more party in the TSA. Our flight leaves at 10.30 and it is... 8.27. Airports, you just hurry, 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 and then you wait. That's just like what we do. We have enough time to go to the shop. Yeah. We're not buying stuff in the shop, bro. Except water, we get water. Dad made it. How is parking? Wasn't that bad. Not too bad? Like every time we come here, we like do the same thing. We park in a certain parking place and then you take the shuttle and you come here. But literally right after we got everybody, like bags checked, every, like all the printed stuff, all of our boarding passes, got in the TSA lane, went through the TSA lane, right when we got to the other side, we sat down and then he was here. So it like worked out so perfectly because that was like a 25 min minute ordeal for us and then also for him. But now, we wait. Now we're getting excited. Now it's real. We're here. We're like here. here. Our flight is already delayed because of the stuff that 
went on earlier. Our flight's delayed because we left late. We want a warm meal. What do you think? Oh, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. And they just told us we have to all sit down and buckle back up again because they have this big storm that we're going around. We already left late, so our flight was delayed, and now we're going around a storm, so I think it's gonna be a little bit longer and probably a little bit bumpy the rest of the ride, but I'm seriously like so proud of these kids. And on top of everything, we're starving because they don't serve warm foods on warm food on planes right now just because of the whole COVID thing, so they don't really cook food. They just give you little snacks here and there. At least that's what they said. So we're running off for roll-ups ramen like protein bars i think that's all we've got i hunger for food what i need food i need more food in the bus <laughs> We tried renting a 15 passenger bus and we couldn't find them anywhere. Apparently there's like a shortage of them. So we ended up having to rent two cars, but very specifically, and we called many times to make sure this was the case, we had to make sure that there was an eight passenger and a seven passenger vehicle. And a lot of times when you get to rental car companies, they'll say, yeah, we have them. And then they'll get there and be like, oh, we don't have that one, but we have something similar. And we can't have something similar because we literally will not fit <laughs> if we don't have one eight passenger and one seven passenger. So we're just luck. here we go. Huge shout out to Enterprise right now. They saved us. They saved us. We had a lot of complications trying to find rental cars, and I even like called places, and like it was such a com so complicated to find somewhere that could accommodate our size. And actually, when I originally called this place, they said that they couldn't, and the lady at the front did help us out amazingly. I'm so grateful. This makes me always want to stick with Enterprise. No promo, legit. Like. They saved us right now. She found an eight, eight passenger and a seven passenger and we can return them both in Orlando. Oh, so amazing. <laughs> Me too, I'm so happy right now. I was so stressed out because half the time they're like, yeah, we have it and they get there and they're like, no, you don't. I'm just grateful right now because it is 8.24. We haven't eaten. We're starving, we're tired. We've got a broken suitcase. But you know what's not broken? Our spirit. You stop me up like no one is ever could. Wait, which one, babe? You're the car guy. This one? It has the most trunk space? We're a little worried about how much luggage we have and how many kids we have and how many people we have and how much space we have. Tell you guys you guys are never gonna guess what just happened we got off the plane we started driving to our hotel and we're starving right we haven't eaten all day and we ended up <laughs> I already know what you, I was like waiting for it at this restaurant that's just like this local restaurant and it's just like so good. local to what this it's 50 so local. lower space 
that they have them everywhere. We're at Texas Roadhouse. Conveniently enough, there happened to be a Texas Roadhouse four minutes from our hotel in Florida and across the country, right? And we all know this is my favorite restaurant. And of all the places, I was looking at all the places because we wanted to venture out and try something new. Everywhere closed earlier except this place. And we left. At, we got here at 9.30. This place closed at 10. I feel really bad. Yeah. Like, Do you know if they're all closed? The was like, it's like the and universe like, wanted us to yeah, come to Texas Roadhouse. And dark. here we are at Texas Roadhouse. I just had to share that. We're getting dinner, our first warm meal of the day. We're starving, but we're happy and we're here. We haven't even been to our hotel yet. It's gonna be dark. Like, this is just great. It was meant to be. It was meant to be. Oh, Like, why did you come here from California? Okay, everybody, everybody, everybody's getting out of the water. Guys, let's go!